Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about chapter 7 which is feasibility studies. We have already known some points about feasibility studies. In this feasibility studies we need to study and analyze about the cost and many other things. In this feasibility studies many of the projects die. So what we will do in this section. A user has to recognize, recognize the need then the user requirements are determined then the analysis has to verify the objective and constants and require the output and results. System performance definitions, statement of constant, identification and description of outputs. Feasibility studies have some points like as formal proposal to ready a formal proposal for a project. After proposal, for review the management section. Then many projects die here because after the managerial observation sometimes manager dismiss the project so the projects die in this section now here is the decision documentation where there are three key questions is there a new or better way to do the same work what are the cost and savings of alternatives what is recommended Now, feasibility consideration of economic feasibility, technical feasibility, and behavioral feasibility. Economical feasibility is to that now you are using a system that uses per unit cost is $50. But if you use the new system, the cost will reduce to $25 or $30. So this is the economical feasibility. Now, technical feasibility means the it will uh, give the more results in the small time that you can get the technically gain so the technical it is the uh, factor of technical facilities or feasibilities and now the behavioral feasibilities means that the user can easily operate that and the behavior of the new system is very good is known as behavioral facilities so feasibility is considered three components economical technical and behavioral here are the difference between economical technical and operational or behavioral feasibilities economical feasibility is equivalent or efficient to it it mainly uh, points on the cost section Tec uh, technical mainly basically points on the technology section and the operational uh, points on the how well it is proposed and then it is uh, how much effort will be into the education and training uh, if the behavior of this new system is good to the staff is known and uh, observed in this operational section now moving on to the next step of feasibility analyzing form a project team prepare a system flowchart then create a candidate system describe the identity determine the evolution weight the system performance and cost of the data select the best candidate system prepare and report a final directive to the manager in this section if the manager granted it then the project could see the bright Those are the description of those points which we are discussed further. Now, a report contains of following section. If you want to generate a feasibility report that, then you will have to include at those points. You have to first generate a cover letter, then a table of contents. Table of contents means which contents have you used. Create a table of the table of content. Now, generate and indicate a overview of your project. Now detail, uh, now, detail the finding the outlines. Uh, find the outlines of your project and show them ab uh, how the cost and emphasis and other things in this section. Now, economical justification. In economical justification, say point to point that how your uh, new environment is uh, using lower cost than uh, the running one. 
now here is the recommendation and conclusions the recommendation and conclusions is the most beneficial and cost efficient part you have to express to the managerial section that your sex uh, your system is uh, very much recommended and uh, very much user friendly in the conclusion section now appendix appendix document all memo and data components during the investigation in the uh, investigation section you have some bills the put the bills and all other stuff that are used in this project uh, on the appendix section that's for today thank you